Hello, and thank you again for joining me on this venture of creating this painting called uh, He Said, She Said. It's a 22 by 30. I did this on uh, watercolor paper, and I have added mixed media into this piece. You'll see large um, pieces of kind of like a mahogany type color, red maroon, and those are added papers. And then you'll see a lot of other scribblings with charcoal and pencil and graphite. And um, I think what made this painting, and I'll talk about it in the end of the, while I'm creating it, is um, adding these unusual shapes. It needed something in the end to give it that additional pop. And many times that's what happens when I'm creating a painting. I have to look at it and say, what does this painting need? And adding those unusual shapes, I felt just was the what I needed visually to finish this painting. So without further ado, let me show you what it looks like in a room. And now let me just to go on to the painting. started this painting with a pencil and then I go into adding different marks within here either with a paintbrush or with a woody or a graphite and the colors I'm using in here are just a golden high flow yellow um, of course the black um, either regular or high flow I use golden a lot the burgundy maroon color is Luke it's a Lucas color and I just started using those like a couple months ago and I really enjoy the Lucas. It's a little thicker. And that's uh, something that is um, helpful in your abstracts is to have a combination. Um, it's like opposites. If you have thin lines, have some thick lines. If you have pencil, add a thicker mark with charcoal or uh, the black woody. Um, if you have, you know, squares, add circles. If you have small shapes, add large shapes. A lot of the paint, because I did three paintings kind of in a row, were ones I had out. So the gray is just a mixture of the black and the titanium white. And I always, always, always have that bottle of high flow titanium white with me. I even travel with a bottle of that, a smaller bottle because I use it on every piece. And here I'm just actually adding it into my black and gray right on the canvas or paper here. In this case, it's paper and mixing in the colors. And that is water just to give a little different uh, flow of paint on my uh, substrate. And so I am just going to uh, let you watch me paint and let you uh, turn on your music or um, you know just just watch the the process but the um, I encourage you to ask me questions if you have any I encourage you to use a lot of the colors that you have and the biggest thing is just to balance your paintings with the differences in your marks, your strokes, your brush sizes, your thin and thicker paint, if you like the type of abstracts that I do. Those are the, some of the things that I do to create my abstracts and to create the interest in them and to get them to a point where I like them and I think that they're done. So if you have any questions, let me know and um, enjoy just watching me create and um, I hope I hope you do enjoy this and I hope it's helpful to you.
So as I wind down this painting, again, you can see that I looked at the painting and I felt it needed um, a shock and awe or something for the eye to be excited over. So I'm using a matte medium and it's kind of, um, it's kind of like my go-to glue. You can use uh, Mod Podge type paste um, to, but I like this, it's from Golden and it's, um, it's uh, archivable and it's just a good quality. And then I'm taking the lines that I already had on there and on some areas just extending them through the additional pieces that I put down just to kind of keep a flow. And you don't have to do that, it's just something I like to do. And then I'll look at the painting one more time when this dries and just add more scribble. And even before I end the painting, I may go in and add more when the video is shut off. So um, until I post it on my website, I don't call it done. So, um, you know, there's still additional things. I could have gone in with a white gel pen when this dried. That would have looked um, fun over top of that big white or that big um, maroon block there. So, well, there, there I try, but it wasn't quite dry. So I guess that was my thoughts when I was creating it. So it's funny that I have the same thoughts as I'm looking at it now. But I hope you enjoyed this. I would appreciate a thumbs up. I am still growing my channel and a uh, YouTube loves when they see likes and comments. And so I'm still growing that part of my channel. So any... Um, thumbs up you give me or any comments help the algorithm so I can grow and um, eventually get better equipment and make better videos for you hopefully so thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoy the ending of this painting <music>